Okay, a quick look at the B Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 1 by Kentaro Mira. I've got a full video with my full thoughts. This is a complicated book. So the main problem is this is an X-rated book, right? Do not read it if you are not ready for some, like, nasty demons doing nasty demon crap stuff. So the main character, Guts, is sort of seemingly this dark, edgy boy. But that's only the surface. Underneath, he's actually a deeply sympathetic uh, and compassionate and caring person, but it's sort of like he, he's being hunted by demons and demons have taken everything away from him. So that, that's kind of made him a lot more cynical. Uh, he meets Puck, an, a little fairy, kind of an homage to the Shakespeare character who's more naive, more uh, simple, so, sort of a simple, good little fellow, uh, but not as powerful as Guts. And uh, Guts uh, has to fight this nasty fat count who's in league with demons and making a deal with them. I think this series really picks up uh, in the Golden Age arc where we find out Guts' backstory and why he is the way he is and what shaped him as a person. But it is kind of interesting seeing this earlier arc where we, we sort of get like the initial impression of him. Oh, he just seems like a big, uh, dark, edgy boy with a giant sword. But gradually we find out that there's more to him than that. And, then, and here's just like an example of the weird... Uh, effed up demon stuff that he has to fight throughout. So uh, there is nasty effed up stuff that the demons do. And I think it's using that for the point of saying the world of the demonic is effed up. It, it delights in the destruction of life. It delight, delights in all kinds of debauchery shown on, shown on screen. And Guts is the kind of man who has kind of like dedicated himself to standing against that. So if you think he can handle it, uh, I do believe it's using really dark ideas and imagery in the context of a moral story. So I, I would check it out.